Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'm making another commentary. I mean, can you believe that? Like, ah. So today, we're going to be talking about learning a different language. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, learning new stuff all the time is always pretty cool. It grows your brain out, doesn't it? So the reason why I want to make this video is, is because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to the weeb side. You know, I'm, I'm turning into a weeb slowly, right? Trying to learn how to speak, not speak Japanese, but like write and read and write in it. And uh, that way, if I ever go there by any off chance, I can know where I'm going and not have to rely so heavily on a translator who might just dip me at the end of the day. Like, that is scary. <laughs> now, um, for me, Mexico wouldn't be a problem because I can speak some Spanish. I know how to get myself around places. Um, so I'm, I'm, half, I'm halfway there, you know, with learning it. And uh, yeah, so this is the kind of funny part is uh, learning languages is kind of interesting. You know, you get to learn like a lot of things that you would just kind of like be flabbergasted if you're just stuck with your original language. I mean, this is coming to the people that who uh, don't speak English too. It's like, can you imagine speaking in Los Verbos all of your life only to come back to learn English and learn that los verbos actually means the verbs like it, it is is a weird transition now Spanish to English isn't too bad I mean there's a lot of similarities you can name a lot of things that are pretty similar to each other in, in English and Spanish so that's nice right you know like uh, simple words like well this is subjective because <laughs> this goes in certain parts of uh, the Spanish speaking world but uh carro right you know that means car Awesome, isn't it? And uh, some places it's coche, so it, it's it's kind of an interesting thing going on with that. Now, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this like whole thing. So pretty much, I've been trying to learn like a new language that's way out there compared to like English and Spanish, you know, combined. And uh, yeah, I just settled on learning a little Japanese just so I can learn my way through getting to places, right? This was also one of those things where I'm like, crap. Um, a lot of the model kits I'm buying uh, have a lot of Japanese instructions only. So it's kind, of, it's kind of hard to translate every time without knowing. You know, it's just like, ah, such a pain in the butt. But now since I le at least know somewhat of it, not really at all, but it, it, it helps. It helps a lot, you know? It's like when you're trying to read a language that you don't understand, you're just like frustrated more than anything else because you're like, ah, I wish I knew how to say that. I wish I knew what it meant. You know, it's like one of those things. It's just like, damn. And, you know, you might be saying, oh, why don't you just use Google Translate all the time? Yeah, no, uh, Google Translate isn't the best idea to use. Maybe for like if you're looking at street signs or something. But um, yeah, no, in general, it's not really like the best tool. Like it could be really dodgy. Actually, no, no, put it this way. Google Translate is like a 50-50. It's, it's pretty much a hit or miss because sometimes you can get it like where it translates perfectly and then other times it's all over the place. So getting that into consideration, I kind of need to know what's going on, you know? <laughs> So, yeah, um, I mean, if you guys ever learn a language, leave it in the comment below. I want to see what else you can say in, uh, different languages. You can spam this comment section with this, with different languages. As long as it's appropriate, it should be alright. Um, but yeah, so pretty much since last year, I just decided to pick up a book from Barnes & Noble. I'm like, you know what, if I'm going to Japan, why not learn it, you know? And this was my whole mindset. I was like, yeah you know why not learn a new language so unfortunately i became a weeb by doing this and that's not been very interesting in my behalf i think that uh i've seen some better days <laughs> i i feel like i could do better than myself than become a weeb but you know what if you're gonna learn a language the language there um yeah you're gonna have to kind of be weeby a little weeb but um yeah in other words other than that learning a new language that's just all like character based rather than like forming words is kind of interesting like characters versus words is kind of like an interesting thing to learn like for me i'm so used to learning like full-on words like this you know not using one single character to describe a multiple of things you know it, it's it's kind of an interesting thought process going around with that and uh yeah i definitely want to learn more of it you know it seems like kind of an interesting thing 
And if you guys ever like learn a language, you know, it's kind of interesting, you know. For some people, it's like, oh, well, I got to pass this class in college, you know, to get my electives done. Yeah, that's understandable. But um, for other people, it's like learning a new language is kind of cool. <laughs> and uh, it's not because you can be that edge boy who'd be like, yeah, I'm the different guy in town. No, at the end of the day, it's one of those things where you're just like, wow. You know, you feel like your mind is expanded a bit compared to like just, you know, not really learning a new language. But it, it same goes for everything that you learn. But this one is kind of like a learning process because right now, like my whole head, every time I like try to say something, especially in a different language, like I have like a video buffer wheel going on. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of funny to think about that. Like, damn, bro. Like literally there's a delay with me because I'm literally processing in my mind. Oh, I got to find the word. got to find the word. I'm like, like freaking Jimmy Neutron with his like freaking think moment. Whoa, you know, you get to you get to really like think like, dang, dude, how the f how in the world do people say it this fast, you know? But as with everything like, you know, it comes practice, you know. You're not going to learn it like instantly, and it's going to take at least a few months for you to learn one specific thing. Or it might take you a week to learn one specific thing. And here's the thing about like learning languages is that you want to kind of pace yourself, you know, pretty much go at your own pace. So pretty much um, the thing is that you want to go at your own pace because if you try to rush it too much, you're not really going to learn a lot out of it. And versus like the versus you trying to go at your own pace and then learn it eventually. And that's why for me, I'm like, I've never really done any like language classes myself. You know, being another essa in the, in the world, you know, <laughs> I've been learning Spanish, you know, from family and all that. So I naturally kind of know Spanish, know what I'm talking about. You know, I had to speak to my family in that sort of sense, you know, some parts where I'm just like having to speak in Spanish all the time. It's kind of an interesting thing going on. And, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Like, like you having to switch languages all of a sudden you're just like, wow. This is amazing. Now, I hate to be this, like, hipster guy where I'm just like, you know, you get to learn the culture, you get to learn everything. Like, it, it's it's literally what it is, though. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It is kind of cool because then you'll learn how to say, like, things like slang, you know. Instead of saying, hola, hombre, you know, you're going to say, hola, chamaco. <laughs> you're pretty much going to say, hola, chamaco, you know, or something like that. So pretty much you can learn how to say like slang too and you're just like, whoa, okay, so that's even more interesting, you know? Um, but um, pretty much that's it all I gotta say about the, if you're gonna learn a language, you know, try to go at your own pace. If you're doing it for a class, well, you know, you're gonna kind of freak it out after a while because the thing is, is that you don't want it to become more of a chore. You want it to become like a, like more of a hobby. I guess you could say and th that's why I never been like I'm not saying that there shouldn't be classes for like learning different languages uh, but when it comes to like really wanting to know a different language you want to put in the time like yourself and you want to be willing to put that time in because here's the thing you're, you're gonna have a more memorable time like learning it versus you having to memorize it for like a test or something and although you know testing is good but the thing is is that you're just, you just you don't want to feel pressured doing it you know you don't want to feel pressured learning a language some people they get off at that but you know that, that's not that's not how I work <laughs> <laughs> so anyways um yeah i want to continue making these commentaries like once a week and all that and uh, i just have a few range of topics this is just me more of just like spitting out my mind just so i can like make some content really quick and be like hey you know guys i'm trying to be consistent here i'm this is gonna kind of be like a thing for me for a bit hopefully it stays i'm not sure if it doesn't then shoot guys i don't know what to tell you man <laughs> but um yeah if you guys want me to make a video on something you know, just get like a brief discussion about it. Not really like a, like a full on video essay or anything. It's just more of just like a quick, you know, rambly rant rant. And uh, if I'm too lazy too, then uh, crap. I'll see you guys in the next video.